Combining intelligent policy enforcement and application delivery network enables network operators to dramatically reduce the complexity of their networks. They can offer more services, use less equipment, and maintain full network visibility and control without trying to force functionality on existing infrastructure equipment that does not perform or scale with advanced features. Intelligent policy enforcement is a strategic technology. If you go back to 2005, when DPI entered the market. It was really looked at as a traffic engineering technology used for peer-to-peer -peer control and, and traffic management, maybe congestion management, and evolved into around 2010 into what we call intelligent policy enforcement. That took the, the base function of DPI and moved it more into business analytics, you know, driving optimization and network optimization and performance. And now we've come out with what we consider to be Intelligent Policy Enforcement 2.0, which delivers on the concept of personalization and charging with very high resilience, very high uh, performance. We all agree that intelligence is needed in the network, but where is the question? With the widespread adoption of 3GPP standards, carriers have begun to implement a service layer in their networks with intelligent policy enforcement technology. Traffic steering, which is a core functionality for application delivery networking, has become a staple of IP deployments, and our customers have begun to ask for more advanced ADN features for their deployments. We believe IPE has become a central character in the service provider's ecosystem. We believe that the layer four through seven functionality is ideally suited within the packet core, which we may call the service layer, versus in the access or the pairing points. Some vendors may want to try to put four through seven in the core of the router, doing layer three all the way to seven. Some will want to do it at the access or the edge where they want all these functionalities, you know, in all these many, many devices that are sitting on that access layer. That's why we've become ideally sued because it's at the service layer. That's where four through seven resides. And that's where we can combine ADN and IPE for the carrier and it's a consolidation and simplification story. The beauty of Procera's architecture is that we have an extremely flexible and high performance packet processing pipeline that's not dependent on any particular network process or ASIC. You know, we continue to ride the performance and scalability cur curve delivered with the latest Intel chips and low cost memory. With our application identification technology known as data stream definition language, once we apply our subscriber, service plan, application, location, and device awareness to the traffic, we can implement just about any kind of enforcement or manipulation of the traffic. Before ADN, enforcement was manifested through congestion management, filtering, prioritization, usage management, and traffic marking. ADN adds the ability to perform advanced traffic steering and carry grade NAT. Both of these are policy actions that leverage the awareness that the packet logic solutions are built on. Let's look at one application. Why is carry grade NAT hot? Carry grade NAT is an application that was completely driven by market demand. Almost every customer that we have spoken to over the last year has asked us to develop this capability since they strongly believe that we have the right architecture and deployed in the ideal network location. Care grade NAT is becoming a requirement for many operators because they can no longer get IPv4 addresses. And they are still experiencing subscriber growth, especially on the mobile networks where users have multiple devices. The carriers discovered that if they'd implement NAT at the edge of their network, they were losing subscriber visibility in their service layer and would limit their ability to offer advanced services. They also discovered that their core network systems were a poor fit for large scale implementations as routers were not architected to deliver session aware services. It's all about personalization. Procera continues to drive intelligent policy enforcement capabilities forward to meet the goal of enabling personalized services. Personalized services will enable network operators to compete more effectively and will allow them 
to be more nimble in offering new services for revenue generation. We strongly believe that the network operators require intelligent service layer in their networks. And there is no solution positioned as well as IP systems from a technology or business perspective.